What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again, once again, and oh, <laughs> ah, Guardian Games. I am in sheer, rapturous awe about Guardian Games. Not the sheer, rapturous awe one might experience when, I don't know, looking upon the face of God, or the feeling of euphoria when they have a kid, or accomplish something great in their life. No, the sheer rapturous awe that I'm experiencing is not unlike watching a car crash in slow motion, or a train derail. The sort of horrific thing that you see, but you just, for whatever reason, can't quite take your eye off it. Like some sort of innate human response to bad shit happening. You want to look away, you know you shouldn't watch, but you just can't help it. You hope that everything turns out okay for those involved, you're hoping for the best, but in that one moment, that one quantum second in time, you can't take your eyes off it. This is of course like an action movie. We know that the people in the movies going through horrible accidents, getting shot hundreds of times, they're gonna be okay, they're all actors. They'll do this one movie, die horrifically in it, and they'll be back for the next one. Guardian Games is like that for me. Actually, if I'm being honest, Destiny 2 has been like that for some time for me. I watched the franchise enraptured going, how much worse can this get before the bottom falls out? Watching, waiting, for the moment where either Bungie gets their shit together and realizes the potential of the Destiny franchise, or the final straw drops from on high, gently wafting down and landing, breaking the proverbial camel's back in twain. There's just something enjoyably cathartic about how bad Season of the Worthless has been, and Guardian Games encapsulates everything that is wrong with Destiny 2 in one event. The content rotation for those of you who do not know, because every video is somebody's first, and there's a lot of people not playing Destiny anymore but still watching my content, is bounties. Lots of bounties. Just go and do fucking bounties. This isn't even a joke, it's just fucking bounties. They didn't do anything like go run the raids, or hey, go do the new Grandmaster Nightfalls, or take content like the sort of Olympic Games-esque shit that we see in the Menagerie in the Leviathan Raid, and put something together to run for Guardian Games. You know, like the actual Olympic Games that this is supposed to be imitating. Nope. It's just bounties. Lots and lots of fucking bounties. Season of the goddamn bounties. And they're not even interesting bounties, they're not even complex bounties, they're just your bog-standard bullshit bounties. It would be one thing if perhaps you could, I don't know, earn all the gear that they put in the cash shop through doing the bounties, even if I think it's ugly, but hey, it would be something. No, it's just bounties. With no fucking point- oh wait, 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 the popularity contest going on. And to sell emotes and armor. Oh wait, hold on. But Joker! Lest I forget, there is a point. You have the exotic heavy LMG that you can get by completing triumphs. However, I think it's fairly safe to say that the heir apparent, just like Thunderlord before it, will get put in an engram when this is all said and done, or have some other secondary way to get it, because after all, Bungie has a skin to sell. Guardian Games also continues Bungie's trend of overhyping content and under-delivering on it. I mean, for fuck's sake, this had a Vidoc! Always been this kind of undercurrent of which class is the best class. This is the first time in Destiny where we're saying, prove it. They quite literally put more effort into the Vidoc than they did the event. How? Why? When? Where? Who? Who thought that this event was any good? They put more effort into the tower's redecoration and a real-time standings update than they did the gameplay loop of the event. There's a mechanic that turns your class item gold, silver, or bronze based on who's in the lead at reset. So it's not like there wasn't polish or effort put into this event, but the gameplay loop is clearly not their priority. Because it's literally just go and play old content, go do the forges, go play PvP, go play strikes, go play Gambit, go redo all the same old shit you've been doing for the better part of three years. Guardian Games is like setting everything up for a nice dinner house party, then forgetting to cook the fucking food. Guardian Games isn't half-baked because that shit never made it to the oven in the first place. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Remember to like this video if you did, subscribe and hit that bell notification because subscribing means nothing to YouTube. Feel free to donate to my Patreon if you are feeling particularly generous. 
But above all else, stay frosty.